We've actually had quite a few requests to bring out the number one bull, specifically Pika. The highest record bull we've ever seen in Brawl Stars. If you were to have a personal personality that best fit a brawler, do you feel like you, f you fit best with bull? Bulldozer! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was terrible. Bull's in charge. Ever play him on Bounty? Once did it go well, but I tried. <laughs> You're like, Bull's my favorite guy, I gotta try it, right? <laughs> Hello fellow brawlers, I'm Kyra Simon. it is time to brawl. Today we've got another special video for you guys. You guys like these number one brawler uh, interviews, <laughs> they're, they're doing well, so I figure we'll keep that going. We've actually had quite a few requests to bring out the number one bull, specifically Pika. How you doing today, Pika? I'm doing just fine. I can't wait to get into this interview. <laughs> awesome. This is going to be awesome. Now, for those of you guys that don't know Pika, I don't know if there's any top player that does not recognize Pika as, is, as one of the top, if not the top, bull player in the game. So we are not just like one season, but seriously, like one of the, like the top guys. So we're going to talk. We're going to start off. First of all, why do you like bull so much, man? I just like uh, like his voice lines, his character in the game, like what character there is. I just like it the most compared to every brawler. I like his design and his gameplay the most as well. If you were to have a personal personality that best fit a brawler, do you feel like you, you fit best with Bull? Kinda. Kinda? <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, so, um, a little bit of introduction. First of all, what is your max total trophies ever that you've ever had? What's your max trophies? Um, like, I think it's 11,012. So, you're definitely, you don't just play Bull, but you're, you're pretty high up there yeah. on a lot of brawlers. Now, Bull, what's your highest Bull score you've ever gotten? I got this in Portrait, but it was 875. <laughs> That's pretty high. Is that the highest record bull we've ever seen in Brawl Stars? Uh, Money Capital, but I don't want to talk about that thing. <laughs> okay, we won't talk about that. So, first of all, let's start off um, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the easiest and 10 being the hardest. How hard would you say it is for you to push bull competitively in comparison to all the brawlers? I mean, for me, it's like maybe just an 8. Because okay. I've been pushing him since the beginning of this game back in June last year. So I, I've been tryharding him for over a year now. So okay. I know him basically. I mean, Bull is not an easy brawler to play right now, especially because, you know, there's long range distances and things like yeah, that. Yeah, it's like only one mode for now. Okay, so yeah, let's let's go over that. Um, as far as the game modes, let's go and talk about the game modes. First of all, um, would you play a bull in gem grab? Yeah, on a, a few maps, I find it to be really good. Bone Pox, which is overall like a really good map. Then uh, I play bull a Hard Rock Mine. It's an open map, but if you can go up left side, you can then control the whole team by flank by just being able to kill the flanker on the left side. Yeah, it's so yeah. hard to get past the bull up in your in your bush like that. Yeah, like any any uh close range brother that does high damage, also Frank, Primo, Shelly. So a couple couple maps in gem grab. What about um the single showdown? Uh Feast of Famine only because of the bushes, but still there's a bunch of bows that team, so he's still kinda okay at best. For the competitive levels. If you stay in the bush, sometimes it works. I do that on my mini. It's okay. Yeah. Well, what about Duo Showdown? Um, he's okay. Uh, I'm, I'm surprised since, uh, like, stuff like Stormy Plains, you think it would be Lobber dominated, but there's also Mortises and Lobbers, so Bull counters Mortis, so he can be okay. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, definitely Feast of Famine, since, um, Bow and Bow is basically the meta, or yeah. just some short range and then Bow. Do you, do you play him competitively in Heist? Uh, my mini. Yeah. Like, not my main. Okay, Mostly what? smash and grab and brawl ball. Um, is that just because Daryl's just kind of outclass bull on heist? Um, except for really GG Corral, yeah, he does. Ever play him on Bounty? Uh, back in Portrait on Star Gulch once. Did it go well, but I tried. <laughs> You're like, Bull's my favorite guy, I gotta try it, right? <laughs> I mean, I, I had one win, but it was mostly like a, like a 10 loose streak. <laughs> okay, um, and then you said brawl ball. Um, would you say yeah. that Brawl Ball, you play him mostly in Brawl Ball, or do you mostly play him in Gem Grab? It's kind of a mix. I, um, I find both of those to be really fun for Bull. Okay. I mean, Gem Grab, I do like more, simply just due to the mechanics. I play Bull a bit more. And it's always out, which is a nice addition, because I can always grind my Bull if I want yeah. to. Brawl Ball, I would say only one map is like really good. Triple Dribble is like, just doesn't work in my opinion. And that backyard ball, Bull is kind of a more open map, so long range brawlers really dominate him, and Primo is over a 
factor there, in my opinion. But Pinel Punt, I really do like playing him on. One time I even popped him up 800 first day of the season with oh, that map. I also find it's just like if you're able to push the team back, so they're all grouped up at the goal. If you charge in, you can be a really good distractor for a few seconds allowing your team to either team wipe or just score the ball. Let's go ahead and talk a little bit about basic tips for bowl, okay? So you got somebody that just unlocked bowl or maybe isn't super great with bowl or they're just like kind of, they haven't really gotten that bulls in charge vibe yet, you know? Well, I will say maybe the first 200 clubs before teaming start, just play in the showdown. Since most people are not that good, they just rush you and since you have second highest damage per shot in the game you can kill basically everyone and then once it's like maybe 250 ish i would say teaming starts just stop and move on to heist jj corral um i would say you can play him up to maybe 500 at heist it's just daryl's typically better there except for jj corral sick perry i would say you can go up maybe to 300 because eventually bow starts dominating it that removes your ability to even flank and then long range or medium range kind of starts taking its toll on you in St. Prairie. Um, yeah. So let's say you got somebody that has been playing Bull and they're pretty good at him. You know, they know how to use his mechanics and things like that, but they're really wanting to get to that next level. Like what, what strategy tips would you give to somebody that's really wanting to improve their game? I'll tell them as much as you can. Uh. <laughs> 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 now, now, are you being serious? Because we're looking at this gameplay going on over here, and you're not auto-aiming very much at all. <laughs> hey, hey it's, it's the best strat. I'm not saying I do it, but... <laughs> okay, so use that auto-aim. Well, I think that's fair. I think that's fair, you know? It's, uh, it yeah, definitely it, has that place with bull. It's nothing in a game, and it's basically meta for tanks. Yeah. Except Frank. Do you feel like you have an advantage over other people playing bull because you're not using auto-aim? Or is that kind of like, uh, you want to prove to everybody, I can still play bull without auto-aim? Like, what's... Uh, talk to me about that. Both. Okay. Like, I, I like being able to play bull without auto feel better than anything the shots instead of just tapping. Like, for example, maybe Tar has star power, she just gives you the suck. Mm -hmm. Like, that thing spawns next to you, but instead of shooting that, you shoot the brawlers and possibly get a kill, and then you take care of that, which... That, that's like a difference. And obviously, like, bull super. Who auto aims a, a charge? Yeah, <laughs> you shouldn't have auto aim that one, that's for sure. That's the one part of bull you shouldn't auto aim. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Okay, cool. Without auto aim, if you want, you instead of shooting someone next to you, you can maybe shoot someone who's lower health and maybe kill them instead. Okay. Which is another benefit. So kind of what you're saying is rather than using auto aim like a crutch for bull, you're using it, you're not using it at all so that you can really capitalize on those opportunities where other people might miss out on them. Yeah. Okay, cool, I like that. I think that most people are going to be playing with Bull and play, probably using that auto aim because it's so yeah. beneficial for him. Um, what's something that maybe is a little bit um, more tricky for people to really understand or master with Bull that really gives you that competitive edge? You're super. I really like using it, but a strategy I love is getting someone to the edge of the map so you can't charge through the map, obviously. Okay. You charge, you land next to them, you knock them back so they can't shoot for a second, and since you're on top of them, you can kill them like three shots most. Okay, so you're saying get them up to like a wall, or close yeah. to it, so that you can charge right yeah. at them at the wall. They get knocked back, the wall stops you, you're right next to them, you blast them a couple times and they're dead. Is that... Yeah, yeah, no, and um, definitely, as I said, no bounty, please. Yeah, don't play bounty. <laughs> Like, compared to Daryl, Daryl has to kind of aim it super pretty well in GG Cara Bubble. You just bulldoze up and you're up and safe. Bulldozer! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was terrible. Let's see here. No, that's really solid. So, a um, couple of questions then. The hardest thing with Bull, from, for at least when I'm trying to play with him, is really getting close up to enemy brawlers. Because, you know, they're firing from a distance. It's kind of tricky to get up there. What are some, some tips or tricks that you figured out? to really get close up on enemy brawlers so that you can, um, it can actually use bull effectively. Um, sometimes I actually just bum rush them and it works. Okay. It has to be, I guess, like a, maybe a lower DPS brawler that you can corner, such as Crow. Like, mm, okay. yeah, he's fast, but if you get him to a corner, you can, you know, corner him, he's dead. And Tara, like her damage is okay, but if you rush her, sometimes it can work. Yeah. they're not too good but really um just stay in bushes but if there's a bow you have to maybe just be a lot more careful just try to chip at people if there's a bow to get to super so you can close your distance really just try to stay in bushes surprise someone get to kill 
repeat until you get your super so you can then start making plays and then chain your super to constantly be able to go in, go out, maybe then go back in right after or something. Use his super as the, to cover up the weakness that he has of being uh, having yeah, a hard time. Yeah, like you have to people. try to pick, well, like pick down people, get your super so you can then be effective. Okay, I like that. That's solid. One question I have is when you're playing a match, which brawlers do you dread playing against? Like which are which are the brawlers that you get in there and you're like, ah, oh, man, they're hard counter to bull. What typically Jesse, like if they put the turret in a good position and I take it out. When I run up, I usually get melted. And yeah. when I take it out, Jesse has another turret and it's super annoying. Yeah, at that point you need one of your teammates to kinda of take care of it. Definitely. And then uh Poco is just kind of annoying because it's Poco. Maybe I'm about to get a kill, he heals them, and then I die, stuff yep. like that. Just crow, as I said, you, like, as I said, you could corner him, but usually if they're good, they just keep a distance, poke at you, and then if you're low, they jump on you and finish you off. For Shelly, I would say that she is, like, it's tough to face off against her, obviously, if you're, like, in an open match, I mean, area. She has more range, yeah. Yeah, and she chips you down with high damage, and if you get close, she usually has to super and kaboom. But if you find her in, like, grass, you will sh you should win unless you're pretty bad at hitting shots somehow. <laughs> if, you're using, if you're not using auto-aim and you miss. <laughs> yeah, because you two-shot her. She, uh, she uh, four-shots you, if I'm yep. not mistaken. Yep, four shots unless she has her super, yeah. Like, if you shoot once and then she's landed all three shots, you just shoot her once and she's dead. You're just really low. Then Tara, I just dread simply because of the super. Like, she can even beat me in a 1v1 sometimes simply because she supers me and I'm immune. I mean, involved. I can't do damage yeah. for a few moments. Then uh, obviously, Nita, like, <laughs> she keeps her distance and she does decent chip damage. Like, she's yeah. seven shots low. So, if you just rush her, she would probably get bare when you get to her. So then. Usually, if uh, even if you're like me and I manual aim, it's pretty hard to even hit her because the bear is always in front of her. With all of these brawlers, except possibly Tara because her DPS is kind of low, try to flank them or just come at them with the bushes. I right, also, um, basically every long range brawler like Piper, Brock, Colt, yeah. Ricochet. Yeah. Especially Ricochet, he can reach everywhere. <laughs> he can, he can. Okay, so we talked to those, we basically named half the brawlers now. Um, yeah. which, which brawlers does Bull actually counter? When you get into a match, you're like, oh yeah, this is gonna be awesome. Who, who do you like to play against? Basically, any tank, including Pam. Okay. Daryl, yeah, he does more damage, like 4k hit to 2,800, the same health. You think Daryl would win? But Bull shoots a lot quicker, so typically you can get the kill first. Yeah, and it's also pretty hard to land both those shotgun shots with a Daryl. Yeah, sometimes only one shotgun hits because the other one shoots where they were. Mm -hmm. Frank, I like facing because he stops to perform his attack and super. I mean, his super is pretty scary, but you can just move through him sometimes. Yeah, you just like, move right through him, go to the opposite side, then he's yeah, just wasted. Yeah, but like, he's just... Like, he stops to shoot, so he can get closer because he's not moving. And with a faster movement speed than most brawlers, you close the cap gap pretty quickly. And if you're on top of a Frank, it's almost impossible for the Frank to hit you since he just moves to his back when he attacks. Yeah. Also, Primo, like, if you keep your distance, like, if you maybe surprise the Primo, you're on top of him, you definitely will kill him because you only you three shot him. And Primo's also hitting you. He has a lot of damage, really. Like, yeah. he has a very high DPS. Like, his reload's uh, 0 0.8 seconds, and that max up was 2,000 damage, one attack. And yep. if you're just going up, he's going to hit that. He's gonna either get the super and just straight up plop on you and kill you, or just four shot you. Yeah. Also, um, with my super, if I may be in a pinch against the tank, I might just charge through the sides to give me some knockback so they're stunned and maybe I can then finish them off and they're stunned. Okay, so how often do you use that super just to get that additional damage and knockback versus using it to try and get close to somebody? Mm, sometimes I do if like it can get them really low. so. I either then go up to them without fear of dying since it's really low. Also, like, then you can have your teammates kill them. Then, uh, maybe sometimes I'm running away and maybe I try to line up my super to hit someone else. Because I do like trying to line up my super to hit at least two people if possible. Cool, I like that. So, one other question here for you. Regarding his star power, I'm curious if there's ever a moment where you, rather than, rather than falling back to heal up, you purposely keep it low so that you can use that star power for additional damage. Heist, attacking safe. Yeah, it's um, basically double DPS on the safe. Do then, you ever uh, do it against another brawler? 
Sometimes, if I can, if I won't die, because um, yeah, I have like 2,800 health, which is like basically one shot from like an actual bull shotgun, like is one point blank shot, so it's not much health. Yeah. You get three shot by like most brawlers. Yeah. You do what if you can then get a kill and maybe super out if you have to, but if you can't, it, I get a one for one, I would have recommended that. Okay, so most of the time fall back and heal up then. Yeah, but okay. it's nice. It helps me be a bit more aggressive since I can maybe get yeah. a few more shots in. Yeah, particularly if you do get caught in that rough spot where you're like, uh, I'm gonna die, it's, like, it's me uh, or this guy, right. so I'm gonna try and take him out. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's like maybe you're cornered by three people, you might get an extra kill, which is always nice. Yeah. Okay, cool. Before we end the video, do you want to give any shout outs to anybody? Well, there's this guy that's pretty good at the game. He's also like a 600 bolt his top. In game name is Axel, and I recommend if you face him, just keep in mind that's like a guarantee to win. There you go. Um, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Once again, make sure you put a comment in the section below letting me know uh, which brawlers you want to see in the next video or maybe specific players that you want to see in the next video as well. For now, this is Pika and Kairos Time ticking by. We will see you in Brawl Stars.